Hello, and how are we doing? Right, last... Well, this is the interesting one. This is the spicy one that you've all been waiting for. Increased ambush attack movement speed. 6%. Doesn't seem like a lot, but when you already move at 6.9 meters a second, it is a lot. We're going to use it with the workshop grease because you kind of have to to get rid of that massive penalty. And honestly, I'll just jump straight into it and let the Alan do the talking, to be honest. We're going to be leaving the map random. I'll Well, you've already seen my thoughts from the thoughts video, but I want to show you it in action as well. I think it's a bit harsh to just talk about it and not show it. But yeah, we'll, we'll do a round of it. I wanna, hopefully we'll actually get a game where I can do some proper pallet dashing with it. I really hope so. Actually got a pretty decent map to, to, to demonstrate this new add-on because Pale Rose is a really good example of what you can now do with this add-on, providing that we actually get someone to loop the pallet. There's a certain pallet loop, in fact it's this one here, that you can't dash with Pig normally, but with the extra 6% you can. I said, like I said earlier, I think it should be higher than this, but even even at 6% you do feel the kick out of the add-on. It, it is still fun, and to be honest, I never realized just how much I was, you know, desperate for some new pig builds. Like, even if it's the, like, the build itself is fine, just desperate for some new ways of playing her, some new add-ons. Even if they end up being not as good as they could be and probably should be, just a new way to play her, for me, is something that I've been craving. Like, not a new build, but just new ways of dashing. And this add-on is basically that. New ways of dashing, new loops you can work with. Having to relearn things felt great for me, honestly. Having to relearn the new max range and what I can do with that has, has been great. Like, really. Baker's here. I caught him because of the movement speed. Would not have got that otherwise. See, I've already got a hit that I wouldn't have got. Already, I have a hit. Absolutely no way. That would have hit without the speed add-on. Fantastic. What are you doing? Yeah, if you want me to waste your borrowed time, yeah, I'm going to. You bet I am. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Maybe you shouldn't have run at me. Wow, you've got the strike and the borrowed time already on that character. Oh, for now. What is this RNG? Wow. We're heading over to the saw box. Pretty much ignore her now, to be honest. Yeah, I've not lost you. I just have more answer abuse. Six percent. Again, would not have got that without the add-on. As you can, I mean, I've already got two hits with it. Like straight up. Normal pig, you've reached that pallet. Yeah, nice totem. Nice totem you got there. Really? You're just gonna abandon the boat straight away? Really? We're not gonna have a little dance on the boat? I was so ready. And Feng thinks I'm stupid? My, my god. You don't make that. Not even close to making that. 
Now, as you can probably already see, because of the way Pig dashes and because of the way the charge add-ons work, even with the slower charge, you don't really notice it that much. Well, you do if you wouldn't have the uh, the workshop grease, but you don't really notice it. So, effectively, they've decided the combo for you, which... Uh, but, you know, I do still think with the downside like that, it should be a little faster. It, it should be a little bit faster. That's a hit. Yeah. Again, I don't think that had a hit without the add-on. It, it should be a, just a little bit. Not crazy. Nothing crazy. Just 10. Just 4% more, I think. Just something to really make the downside fully worth it. Because there are some pallets, especially on the game map, that you still can't hit with this, and it does feel pretty bad. Because I really want this add-on to be at a place where running away from the loop is still viable, but being at the loop is more risky. And I don't think we're quite at that balance yet. Like, running away is still viable, but there are some loops that still aren't quite... aren't quite where I want them to be yet. Especially considering the downside. I'm going to hook her here because Jake's here. Efficiency. Not Jake, um, Fang. Oh, and Jake. He's dead now, right? Saw me coming. All has spine chill. One of the two. God, I am in love with this add-on. Another hit that I wouldn't have got. AI heard you, by the way. God, I am absolutely in love with this add-on. Oh dear. Balance landing. I ain't gonna slug for a 4k out of the PCB. I'm not gonna do that. There's three gens left. I've very clearly got the W here. Might as well just play it out. Abo. Yeah, she was free. Drop her. I reckon if I wait here, I could get this. If she doesn't crawl. If she crawls, I can't. Okay, that's fine. I'll just recatch you. You're not exactly hard to catch, so uh, I'll just re-get you real quick. Basement's here. So she's running to the one spot she shouldn't. There we go. She got stuck on this game's map design. Now, every single person's death hook. I hear feetsies. There we are. I see them. Quick. We're going to die. Touch the killer's nose. Not going to... Not going to... Bang? Bang? Okay. You've chosen death. Okay, they've got a totem up. They're going to start healing. Probably in this corner. Probably with will make it effect. So this would be quite a quick heal. 
Stuff it out real quick. Yeah, this is bug. You're supposed to stay crouched when you interact with objects and you don't with totems. That's a bug right there. That is a bug. I'm assuming it works with Wraith as well. I've not tested it, but Wraith mains, let me know. Do you uncloak when you kick a totem? I'm assuming you do. Beautiful. That wasn't the add-on. I would have got that anyway, but still. That was not the add-on, but uh, it looked good. Honestly, they spent so much time doing totems that round that I, that I won the round. I feel like if they'd have just done gens rather than totems, they'd have got out. It's not a hatch offering, it's a, it's a basement offering. I thought I heard the hatch open, I did. I was looking at it for a while, thinking that was a main hatch main building, I realised it's not, it's the, the basement. The basement's in the main building. I find it odd the survivors can pick the basement location. Well, I don't find it odd, actually. I suppose I find it odd that they picked it and then still just spent the entire game at the main building. That I find kind of odd. Like, they knew it was there. You freed up the shack, the mine game, and you still spent the whole game at the main building. Yeah, you don't get anywhere near close to getting that gate done. You're gonna... Nope. Well, guess you die. You have also chosen death. God, so selfish. Unbelievable. Let me know what you think of that dash add-on. I think it's insane. I love it. I'm all for it. I do not think it's strong enough yet. I don't. Despite what happened in that video, I do still believe it should be 10%. Other than that, I'm all for it. I cannot wait for it to go live. I'm going to use the hell out of it. I've got thousands and thousands of last will add-ons. I am very ready for this add-on. Cannot, cannot wait. Let me know what you think of it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, everybody. Later.